friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW meal prep. I am so excited you guys this week for the recipes. They all sound absolutely delicious. I am making three recipes, a breakfast, a lunch, and a one smart point dessert. Yes, one smart point and it's cake. So what's better than that? So if you wanna see what's on my meal prep for the week for breakfast, lunch, and that dessert, all you have to do is stay tuned. For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be having strawberry cheesecake French toast casserole, you guys. How incredible does this sound? I'm just going to be pairing that with some eggs because the points are a little bit higher. They kind of consume my breakfast points for me for the casserole. So I'm gonna have zero point eggs. So let me show you what is in our French toast casserole. First, you're going to need some skim milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fairlife. You'll need some sweetener alternative, whatever your preference is. Some sugar-free maple syrup fat-free half and half, fresh strawberries, a day-old loaf of French bread, fat-free cream cheese. You need 12 ounces, so I have four ounces and eight ounces to make the 12 ounces. You'll also need an egg, some sugar-free strawberry preserves, cinnamon, lemon juice, vanilla extract, and ground nutmeg. So let's get started on this week's breakfast. So the first thing we need to do for our French toast casserole is cream our 12 ounces of fat-free cream cheese. So with your hand mixer, you just wanna mix this until your cream cheese is nice and fluffy. Once your cream cheese is all fluffy, you're gonna add in your two-thirds cup of whatever sweetener you're using, and we're gonna give that just another quick mix to make sure our sweetener is nice and combined in with our cream cheese mix. Next, we're going to mix in our one egg and also our lemon juice. We want about a teaspoon of lemon juice, and then we're gonna give this just one more quick mix. Get everything nice and incorporated and then set this aside. Next, we're going to whisk together 10 eggs with some more of our wet ingredients before we add it to our slices of bread. Once you've cracked in your eggs, we're gonna go ahead and add in one third cup of the sugar-free maple syrup. We're also going to add in our vanilla extract, about a teaspoon. We have three quarters of a cup of skim milk. And we have three quarters of a cup of fat-free half and half. And then we're also going to add in some ground nutmeg. And again, I don't follow the recipe, I just kind of do it to my taste. And these are some of my favorite seasonings, so I'm gonna put a lot. And then some ground cinnamon. And then we're gonna take our whisk and we're just gonna whisk this together until our eggs are nice and combined in with our milk and all that delicious spices. You guys, this smells so good. Cinnamony, delicious, cannot wait. Next, we're going to take half of our slices of bread. So I have a total of six. My other pieces are over here. I also have two cups of sliced strawberries and my cream cheese mixture. So what we wanna do is we wanna use our cream cheese mixture and we wanna kind of spread it onto one slice of our bread. And then we are going to layer on some strawberries. So go ahead and just load it up with some sliced up strawberries. And then we are going to put another piece of our French bread on top of this piece of French bread and basically create a sandwich. And this is what is the, gonna be the basis of our strawberry French toast. So I'm just gonna set that aside, finish out my other five slices, and then we'll move on to the next step. Once 
who have your little sandwiches put together, we are going to do our best to cut these into cubes kind of once they're put together. It might be a little bit messy, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do mine in half and we're going to place that into our baking dish. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I am going to cut it into cubes only because it's so thick in the baking dish. There we go. So we can just kind of plunk those into our baking dish and you want to do that with half of your little sandwiches and the other halves will actually go on top of our casserole. So go ahead and just kind of plunk in your halves of your sandwiches and then we'll add the next layer. Once you've added about half of your sliced bread pieces to the bottom of your baking dish, you're going to take the remaining strawberries that you have and you're just going to kind of place them on top of those chunks of bread. I ended up using another half of a slice of a sandwich uh, to fill the bottom of my baking dish. It wasn't quite enough. So that is my suggestion or just make sure whatever you do that there's a lot of, there's a piece of bread of your mixture pretty much in every little crevice of your dish. That way everything gets nice and cooked together. So go ahead and add your strawberries and then our remaining cream cheese mixture. We're just gonna go ahead and plunk on top as well. Get that nice and spread out over the bread and the strawberries. And then our next layer will be the rest of our slices of bread, our little bread sandwiches. Next, we're gonna place the remainder of our little bread pieces right on top you guys yum stuffed french toast i am so incredibly excited for this so i'm just going to evenly place my slices of bread on top of what i kind of coated with the cream cheese and those extra strawberries oh yum and then we're going to go ahead and top it with our egg mixture and the last step is you're going to take your egg mixture and you are going to pour this over the top of your french toast cubes just make sure that all of your bread pieces get soaked in the egg otherwise you will have dry chunks of bread and no one wants that. So just make sure that everything gets nice and coated, at least some egg mixture on all of your bread cubes. And then we'll get ready to pop this into the oven at 350 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Now the recipe does suggest that once you add your egg mixture to the top, that you do refrigerate this overnight. I am not going to do that for time's sake, but that is a suggestion here in the recipe. So I'm gonna pop this into the oven and I'll be back to show you the completed cream cheese strawberry stuffed French toast. You guys, I just pulled the double stuffed cheesecake strawberry French toast out. Look at this. This looks incredible. I am so excited. Look at how thick and delicious with that cream cheese and big chunks of cinnamon sugary bread yum so i'm gonna let this cool just a little bit we'll get this cut into serving sizes we're gonna make up a little bit of a topping or a syrup for our french toast as well so for the syrup i mixed together one half of a cup of sugar-free strawberry preserves in one half of a cup of maple syrup you guys this legit tastes like strawberry syrup at a restaurant it is so good. So I'm going to divide this into eight equal servings and then our French toast casserole. I'm also going to divide into eight equal servings. So let me get this into my meal prep container and I'll show you the completed breakfast and give you the smart points. So here is the completed meal prep. So this is what I'm going to be having for breakfast this week. So I have one serving of the strawberry cheesecake French toast, you guys. It's amazing. And then I have a little bit of the syrup, the strawberry syrup. I topped it with some fresh strawberries that will just warm up right along with the French toast casserole. I'm pairing that with a couple of scrambled eggs, maybe one and a half eggs or so. And then I'll be having a bag of blueberries each day as well. That will count as a fruit. There isn't enough strawberries in the French toast to really count as a full fruit. So this will be my breakfast. This is the leftovers and I went ahead and added the syrup directly to it. Look at how good that looks. So my hubby will munch on this. So for this 
French toast for one eighth of the pan is seven smart points. You can put this into 10 servings for six smart points, but I thought the only thing that has points in breakfast is the French toast casserole. So it's seven for that, zero for the eggs, zero for the blueberries. So my breakfast is a total of seven smart points and I'm getting French toast casserole for seven smart points. For lunches this week, I'm gonna be having deviled chicken sausages and I'm going to pair those with some potatoes and some Brussels sprouts. So first let me show you everything you're going to need for the deviled chicken sausage. First you're going to need some water, some minced garlic, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar or brown sugar alternative. I'm going to use the Swerve Brown. You'll also need some Dijon mustard, chicken sausages. I'm using the Sam's Choice Chicken Apple. I did grab two packs because I need a total of five days and there's only four sausages per pack. The rest I typically just throw into the freezer. They last forever that way. An onion, apples, and tomato sauce and then I'm going to be pairing that with some of these petite fingerling potatoes. I'm going to season these up and throw these into my air fryer and then I'm going to have some Brussels sprouts. So this is going to be what I'm having for lunch. So let's get started with the deviled chicken sausage. So the first thing we need to do is get chopping. So I'm going to slice my two apples. I'm going to slice in half and fillet five sausages cut my onion into slices, and I'm going to take these petite fingerling potatoes, and I'm just going to cut them into smaller pieces. That way they cook a little bit faster in the air fryer. So these ones are fine, but these larger ones I'll probably just cut in half. So I'm gonna get everything all chopped up, and then we'll get everything started. get my potatoes roasting on a sheet pan in the oven. So to my bag of potatoes here, I'm going to add one teaspoon of olive oil. I definitely want that little bit of healthy fats. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic salt. And I put this in the bag because then you can kind of just mix it all together. And then I'm also going to add this, which I love pretty much on any potato or vegetable. This is the Dax green zest. You guys, Dax seasoning is amazing. It is salt free, so no fear when you need to weigh in, but it is packed with a punch of flavor. And I love this green zest. It's all natural. It's non-GMO. So I love this on veggies, on potatoes. So good. So I'm definitely going to load up on the Dax green zest. If you're interested in Dax, I do have a discount code down in the description box that will save you 10% and also get you free shipping. So check out Dax. It seriously is amazing seasoning. So make sure you order some because I'll be using this a lot. So once you get your seasoning and your little bit of olive oil in your bag, I go ahead and close it. And then literally I'm just going to toss the potatoes. And that little bit of olive oil is plenty to just coat the potatoes. It helps to stick the seasoning to them. And then I'm going to lay them out here on my sheet pan. But look, yum. So here are our potatoes. Look at how good those look. I did drizzle just about another half a teaspoon of olive oil over the top of my potatoes just to get them nice and crispy. So I'm gonna throw these in the oven at 400 degrees until they are cooked through and crispy. And now let's get going on our sausage. So the first thing we're gonna do is make the sauce for our deviled chicken sausages. So here I have three tablespoons of tomato sauce. 
And I just went ahead and measured it out of that really small can. I have two teaspoons of the Swerve Brown Sugar. I have three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. To that, I'm going to be adding in some Dijon mustard. I want one teaspoon. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball that. And then lastly, I'm going to add one half of a cup that I just spilt of water. And then we're going to just give that a nice mix until it is nice and combined. And this is going to be the sauce for our devil chicken sausages. Next, let's get these onions and garlic cooking. Next, you wanna go ahead and get a pan warming up on your stove with some non-stick cooking spray. To that, I'm going to add a very large scoop of minced garlic. And I'm also going to add all of my sliced up onions. And we're gonna let those onions and that garlic cook down until the onions are nice and sauteed. And then we will add in our sausage. But this, you guys, already sounds like such a great lunch paired with those potatoes. Once your onions start to cook down, we're gonna go ahead and add in our sausages. We do wanna get those a little bit browned along with our onions. So we'll continue to let this cook through and then we're going to add in our sauce and our apples. Once your onion and sausage starts to brown, we're gonna add in that amazing sauce that we made and we are also going to add in our sliced apples. And we're going to let this just simmer and cook down until our apples are softened. Here's our apples and sausages and onions. Look at how amazing that looks. Who'd have thought, right? Put in apples in with this. So we wanna let this cook until our apples are completely softened. A lot of that liquid has been soaked up by both the apples, the sausage, and the onions. And then we'll be ready to pop out our potatoes and put together our meal prep. Here's our completed sausage apples and onions look at how amazing that looks i'm gonna let this cool for just a few minutes the potatoes are just about done and then we will put together the meal prep and here are the roasted potatoes these look so good so i'm gonna let these cool we're gonna dish up our chicken sausage and then we'll add our potatoes to our meal prep container so for each meal prep i basically want four halves of sausage because I cut all of my links into four pieces so I want to make sure that each day I'm having four links of sausage and then to that I can go ahead and just add a variety of the sausage and the or the I'm sorry the apples and the onions just to kind of finish off each day's meal prep look at that yum so i'm going to get the sausages all divided out equally into my meal prep containers add in a little apple onion mixture and then we'll add our potatoes once we've added in our chicken sausage we're going to go ahead and come back over and add in our potatoes so we're just going to divide these evenly into the other smaller compartment of our meal prep container and we're going to divide what we cooked into five equal servings. So I will be back to show you the completed meal prep and to give you the smart points. So here is our completed meal prep. Doesn't this look absolutely delicious you guys? I cannot wait to have this for lunch and there's even room for dessert. So let me show you what I'm gonna be having. So here I have a serving of the Trader Joe's frozen Brussels sprouts, I'll just warm those up in the microwave. Add a little bit of spray butter, salt and pepper. I have one serving of the Private Selection Fingerling roasted potatoes with that one and a half teaspoons of olive oil over all of them. And then one serving of the chicken apple sausage deviled. And that includes the sauce, the apples, the onions. How amazing does this look? So it is three smart points for the Fingerling potatoes and two smart points for the chicken apple sausage. Nothing else has points in that part of the recipe. So this lunch prep is five smart points. Let me show you what I'm having for dessert as well. But the main portion of my lunch looks absolutely, positively phenomenal. So for dessert, I'm gonna have one of my sweet nothings. You guys know that I'm obsessed with these. These are amazing. So this is the peanut nougat cluster. It literally tastes like a Snickers bar. No lie, legit a Snickers bar. And it is only one smart point, 35 calories. Now Weight Watchers Math makes two of these three smart points. So just keep that in the back of your mind. I did order these off of the Protein Wise website. Down in the description box is a link. Click that. Enter my code here on the screen and you'll get $10 off your first order. And I want to say a bag of these sweet nothings is 
three something. So you can buy almost three bags for free with your free $10 off. You can't beat $10 worth of free delicious food. And there are so many items on the Protein Wise website that are not only delicious, but WW friendly. So I'm going to be having one of these for one smart point. So that makes my entire lunch a total of six smart points, or I'm sorry, seven smart points, three for the potatoes, two for the chicken apple sausage, and one for the sweet nothings. So this is my seven point amazing lunch. For a sweet treat this week, I'm going to be making mini creme brulee cakes. These are going to be adorable and wait until you guys hear the smart points. You're not going to believe it. So here's what's in our mini bunt cakes. So first and foremost, you'll need some devotion nutrition. This is the angel food cake protein powder, best protein powder on the market, hands down. It is only one smart point per scoop. It is fabulous for baking. It is delicious shaken up with some water or some almond milk. And I love it in a blended protein shake with some frozen fruit. So good. So if you're interested in devotion, which I highly recommend, and I will be using it exclusively moving forward in baking recipes, you can go on to devotion nutrition. There's a link down in my description box. Use my code save 10% off of your order, which is always nice. And make sure you grab both the angel food cake and brownie batter so that you can follow along in my upcoming recipes because exclusively I am a devotion nutrition fan. So we'll be using some of the angel food cake. You'll also need some flour. I am out of eggs, so I'm just gonna use egg whites, unsweetened applesauce, baking powder, vanilla extract, and then some nice cold water. So let's get started. So to get started on our mini creme brulee cakes, we're throwing everything into one bowl. So first I have one and a quarter cup of cold water. Make sure the water you're using is cold. You are also going to do two scoops of the Devotion Angel Food Cake protein powder and one half of a cup of all purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, and one egg. And then we are just going to take a spoon and get everything nice and combined. And I'm going to show you my fun little mini butt cake silicone pans that I have. And that's what we're going to be using to cook our cake. So just get everything nice and combined. And then we're ready to get it into the oven. So for our little mini cakes, I'm going to be using these adorable bun cake silicone liners that I bought off of Amazon. Make sure you spray them really well with some nonstick cooking spray. And then I'm going to use my little scoop. I also purchased these off of Amazon. I think it was a three pack of scoops for about $10. All of this, these, and the scoops are in my Amazon store. We want to get a total of 12 bun cakes. So I'm just going to kind of add my mix just kind of equally to make sure that I get 12 out of the recipe. And you can always go back and add a little more batter to your molds if you don't quite, if you have leftover batter after you've gotten the amount that you are wanting to get. So I'm shooting for 12. So I'm going to get these filled and then we will get ready to put these into the oven. So we're going to go ahead and get our little mini cakes into the oven. Look at how cute these are. They will rise. They will come out Perfect. So we're putting these in at 350 for about 10 minutes or until you can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. And while these are cooking, we're going to make a delicious topping for zero points that we're going to add to our mini cakes. So for the topping for our little bun cakes, what I have here is three tablespoons of light Cool Whip. So I went ahead and just used the Kroger brand Light Cool Whip and I measured out on my food scale three tablespoons. To that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of almond milk. And this is the almond milk that I use. It's just the silk almond and coconut. And I'm gonna give that a stir. You wanna make sure that you get the whipped topping and the almond milk kind of stirred together so that it's kind of a thicker, thicker mix. Kind of get the chunks out if you can. And then to that, I'm going to be adding one of the Devotion Nutrition Rainbow Pack Flex flavors. These, you guys, are awesome. They are zero calories, sugar free, stevia sweetened, and gluten free. You can literally add these little packets to just about anything 
oatmeal, yogurt, cereal, coffee, you name it, and they are all amazing, amazing flavors. You can buy these off the Devotion Nutrition website. Same link, same discount code. You can use my code to get 10% off. The box is 30 packets. Again, you'll be seeing these a lot in recipes. So today I decided to go ahead and use the Devotion Nutrition. I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is the creme brulee packet. So that's what's going to give us that caramel, delicious creme brulee flavor to the top of our little cake. So go ahead and enter your little pack, your rainbow pack into your mix give that a stir and literally you just now have zero point creme brulee topping so by the time you divide this out over all 12 bun cakes it ends up being zero smart points and let me tell you it sound it smells delicious so make sure that you also grab this when you're on the devotion website so i just pulled the little bun cakes out of the oven they are so adorable. So I'm gonna let these get nice and cooled and then we'll transfer them to some parchment paper and we'll drizzle over the top that delicious creme brulee topping that we made with the Devotion Rainbow Pack. Look at our little mini cakes, you guys. These are seriously absolutely adorable. Look at how cute those are. Little cute bunt cake shapes. They are the perfect size. So I went ahead and popped them out of the mold, laid them here on some foil. Here is our mix and I'm basically just going to spoon that in the middle and over the top of all of our cakes. And then I'm going to let these cool just a few minutes longer. Let this delicious creme brulee soak into the sponge of the cake and then I'll plate it up and I will show you a serving which is one little cake and give you the smart points. You guys are not going to believe the smart points on these little cakes because it is cake with a creme brulee topping and wait until you hear how reasonable in points that these are. So make sure that you just add as much of your little cream to the top of all of your cakes. You want to use it up because again, it is adding zero additional points. So make sure you use it up. And there are our glazed mini bunk cakes. You guys, these are so delicious. They're sweet. That creme brulee flavor is on point from that flex flavor. This entire little mini bunk cake is one point, one smart point. So what a great little snack, dessert, one point you can't go wrong and it's absolutely positively delicious so here's what i'm going to be bringing for snacks this week so as usual i'm going to be bringing a built bar but i want you to pay special uh, close attention to these built bars this is the brand new flavor this is the mint brownie delight you guys this is fantastic i'm going to insert a picture here to show you the inside it is chocolate it is fudgy it is brownie. It has a very, very, very subtle mint flavor, but it's primarily this ooey, gooey, fudgy brownie. So fantastic. So these go on sale officially tomorrow, Tuesday, June 25th, and the sale runs until Thursday, June 27th. So you literally have three days and three days only to pick up this bar, and then they are gone. They are an extremely limited edition. I'm telling you, you guys, they are absolutely phenomenal. You have to get these. Even if you are stocked up on Bill Bars, throw them in your fridge, throw them in your freezer. Don't miss out on getting these this flavor because it is fantastic. So they are also offering you guys a little extra bonus with these brownie delight bars. If you order a full box, any flavor, single flavor, mixed flavor, build your own box. You can even order a full box of this if you want to go ahead and do that. You will receive two free mint brownie deluxe bars. So for every two boxes you buy of any flavor, you'll get two extra bars. Now, if you buy two boxes, again, of any flavor, not only will you receive two of the mint brownie delight, you will also receive six Yes, six of the blueberry cheesecake. That is a $10 value. So between the six free blueberry cheesecake, which by the way, this flavor is on point delicious, you will also receive four mint brownie delights for free. You guys, that's 14 free bars. That is almost an entire box of Built Bar. That is a $30 value. That is insane. And that is only for three days. So stock up, stock up, stock up. 
Don't miss out. To order, go to BuiltBar.com. Use my code here on the screen and you will save 10% and get free shipping. You can also click the link down in the description box and it will automatically apply the 10% discount and the free shipping. So hurry, run fast to Built Bar. I'm also going to have a package of the petite carrots. I really like these. You know that in these little individual packets, they're perfect for on the go. Oh, and by the way, three points for the Built Bars zero for the carrots. I'm also going to be having my favorite light and fit, which is the tiramisu. I really like this flavor of the light and fit, and I only have a couple left and I want to eat them up. And I'm going to top that with my very favorite granola in literally the world. This is the Julian Bakery Pro Granola, and this flavor is espresso cluster. You guys, if you are new to my channel or have not jumped in and purchased this granola, please do so. It is amazing absolutely amazing here are the stats of the granola and that is for half of a cup 12 grams of protein zero sugar so it is only two smart points you guys for half of a cup of granola typical granola is anywhere from five to ten smart points for half of a cup this granola is made with all good ingredients. It is paleo and keto. It has low net carbs, high protein, gluten-free, grain-free, nothing artificial, non-GMO. This one has prebiotics and probiotics. I'm telling you, you guys, not only does it taste delicious, but it's good for you. So hop on to julianbakery.com, click the link down in the description box and enter my code and you'll get 10% off in free shipping. Now, you have to click the link in order for the code to be valid. So just scroll down to the description box and go into the Julian Bakery site from there. So definitely get yourself some granola, delicious. So I put one tablespoon on my yogurt for zero points. So all I have to count for is the two points for the yogurt. Again, get some Julian Bakery, don't miss out on the Bilt Bars. And this, my friends, are my snacks for this week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I shared with you. Everything is so good and those cakes are amazing. So I definitely encourage you to try out all of the recipes that I shared with you today. I am linking them all down in the description box below so it makes it extremely easy to find. All of my discount codes are down there as well so happy shopping with those. Thank you again so much for watching. If you're new, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Thank you for coming over to my channel and joining my YouTube friends and family. You guys are seriously the best part of every day for me. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the little bell, that way you're notified every time that I upload a new video. If you are new to my channel, I do upload every day, pretty much every single day. So there's always some amazing WW with a little bit of spin content coming your way. I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you thought of this week's meal prep, and if you're gonna give any of these recipes a try. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.